spot the super treasure hunt in three, two, one. Did you get it? It's easy, right? We all know it was this one. Or was it this one? It was... Hi guys, sorry I'm just fooling around a bit. Uh, this week I thought I'd uh, do a quick video on uh, spotting super treasure hunts and I used uh, these two as an example uh, just to illustrate that it's not always quite that straightforward as some some people make it out to, to be even if you had these two uh, side by side uh, on the pegs in store um, you'd be hard pressed to quickly spot the difference um, I've got two more that are uh, where the differences are a little bit more um, exaggerated. Um, let me just show you. These are from last year. They are uh, short cards. The tuned Batmobile. Uh, a little bit easier to to distinguish the um, the Spectra Flame red paint, but but not 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 if you don't have one. Um, next you know in hand and you have them side by side uh, if, if there's a, only the one or the other on the pegs uh, it, it'll it'll take a few a few um, scans uh, to to pick pick the right one um, so I thought I'd quickly cover like I said um, when new people uh, join our groups and, and forums uh, usually when the when the question obviously arises what do you look out for how do you spot them in the wild uh, usually the three things uh, paint, uh, uh, the marking on the car itself, and the real rider tires. Now, in the case of the RX3, all those three aren't as um, they they're not that easily spotted within a couple of seconds. Can you really distinguish the paint that much? Can you really tell the difference between rubber tires and just plastic tires? Can you really spot the Super Treasure Hunt logo on the car? Um, in this case, uh, it's the um, it's the Treasure Hunt the red logo on this on on the door sill, uh, which probably gives it away the easiest because the paint is, is nearly impossible to to tell. Uh, and the wheels as well. If you if you if you don't have a look at the um, the tire thread, so this is the Super Treasure Hunt. Uh, I hope this shows up on camera. You'll see that there is some thread on the rubber wheels. This is not always the case in all supers. Some supers come out with racing slicks, uh, so they they have no thread. So that that makes it even harder. And if you compare the wheels, if you don't spot that front wheel, looks a little different. Uh, the back ones, uh, both five spokes, uh, all, all with the, or both with the, with the gold rim. Uh, so even that's the same. Uh, what does count in the Batmobile's favor is the logo on the card. At the bottom of the card, uh, the logo is a little bit lower, so you, so that's easier to spot on the Batmobile than it is on. The RX3, the RX3 3 being such a wide car that you can't really, if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't just spot it on the pegs. So you really have to know that it is there. So there's the marking on the card, which is the fourth uh, thing to look out for. Also, there's a fifth, um, and I think the Batmobile, again, probably is the better one to showcase that. Um, if you look at the at the cards themselves, you can see that there is a difference uh, in the picture on the card. The card art actually does reflect um, the super shades. So if, if the super treasure hand is a is a brighter shade of red, uh, you'll have a brighter shade of red on the on the card art as well. Um, it, they do tend to put the um, the treasure hunt. You can barely see it if there's a if there's a treasure hunt visible on the side of the car that's uh, that that's featured in the in the card art, just behind the model on the card art, you can just see the TH 
sticking out, but it's uh, that's that's now going very much uh, microscopic uh, into it. So, so that's the fifth thing to look out for is, is, is if you do have two cars side by side and you're not sure um, and there is a shade or there's supposed to be a shade difference in the two uh, between the basic and the super, uh, the card art will reflect it. They do tend to also um, match up the wheels. So, there's a, you can see the Batmobile wheels on the card art uh, is also different between the two cards. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. Um, just wanted to give you a quick, quick few examples and, and just run through the um, through the features to look out for the distinguishing features. Again, <laughs> it's it's so difficult with the all blacked out uh, wheels on both. Uh, the the the, um, the Spectra Flame white is sort of a pearl. It's supposed to be sort of a pearl, but it's it's not as exaggerated as say the uh, a couple of years ago, there was a Pagani Huayra in the main lines that was sort of a pearl white with the Italian stripes running running down the, the middle of the car uh, or down the length of the car, and that was that was very you know that was very pearly. Uh, so yeah, uh, these not so much actually. Um, that's that's hardly any difference. Uh, you do find some some supers um, have more details in the tampo work. Um, but I've, I've recent, uh, the, the more recent supers uh, tended to not have that difference. Um, the, the main lines, if the, if the super had a lot of deco, racing deco, uh, mostly like, like this, if, or if there's a specific racing livery on them, or sponsors livery, then they, um, they do include it on both, uh, most of the time. So yeah, that's it. Uh, just a quick one this week, and uh, I'll see you again, again next week. Keep well. Cheers.